you guys it's Megan and today is a very special special day it is my sister's college graduation which is so hard to believe because she's my little sister she's six years younger than me and it's just incredible and I know I'm gonna cry tonight so we are about to head out um I am trying to figure out what perfume to wear the, my hardest decisions were what mascara what foundation what lipstick and what perfume <laughs> for my lipstick going with the NARS Rakugian because this is just one of my classic colors and yes my lights fell down last night it scared the shit out of me and yeah so i have to fix those but um nars Kugian on my lips i wore maybelline lash sensational mascara because that is pretty much bulletproof so i'm hoping if i cry it will be fine and then estee lauder double wear foundation because it's humid and raining right now and it's an outdoor ceremony and we're really 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 hoping that the skies will clear just in time so fingers crossed about that but we have kind of a long journey and then we're gonna have dinner down there we have the grandparents we have my uncle Doug coming and so it's just going to be a really exciting exciting day thankfully with the vaccine and everything we were able to do an in-person graduation or the college did one so <laughs> that is what is going on tonight and i'll show you guys some little clips but um not the whole thing of course and then um on sunday we have like a party at our house just like a afternoon like dessert and appetizers so um stay tuned for that near the end of the vlog but yeah okay i have to pick out my perfume i'm gonna go with la vie s la vie eh a oh my god la via belle i think is how you say it i don't know how to speak french at all but oh this is such a beautiful fruity floral little bit caramely so oh, very like beautiful and feminine but it's time to get on the road i really wanted to wear a dress today but i ended up wearing this shirt that i just got at marshall's my dark jeans and one of my favorite pairs of shoes from Sam Edelman that I haven't got to wear in over a year because I've had nowhere to go. So <laughs> this is pretty exciting. We're getting dinner at California Pizza Kitchen. I got the blueberry ginger smash drink and me and Rachel got the shrimp scampi zucchini something or other. It's so good. And then the rest of the crew got pizza and soup. Look at this amazing butter cake. Oh my gosh, you have to get their butter cake here at California Pizza Kitchen with ice cream. That's the only way. We're here at Rachel's graduation. We've been here for an hour and it's still not started. There's like 5,000 kids walking in and it's taking forever. Oh my God. <laughs> Row is lit up with Drexel's colors. Yeah, graduating class of 2021. Hey guys, it's Saturday morning now. Oh, I slept like a rock last night. I could have slept for so, so much longer, but I was like, I need to get up and get breakfast for everyone because that's like my Saturday tradition. Um, so I'm going to Duncan now, but last night was insane. I am like obviously so proud of my sister, but the school like planned the graduation so poorly unfortunately it didn't start until 7 p.m and the procession and i don't know if it was because it included both 2021 and 2020 graduates because of course they didn't get to have a graduation last year um so it was great that they got one this year but the procession of just the students coming in took over an hour, like just to get them in the stadium. And we saw so many students, like including my sister, not even 
go in the procession. Like they just stayed with their family or their friends, whoever they came with. And so if everyone walked, it would have been who even knows how long. So it took an hour plus to get to that point. And then there were just so many speeches. Like I understand everyone wants to have a chance to talk, but it's like, it got to a point where it was like ridiculous. So we waited until like someone from her class of 2021 spoke and then we left. Like as <laughs> the whole thing was going on, so many we people were leaving and um, it was just like unfortunate the way that they did it because they actually had it on live stream so when we were driving home my sister put it on her phone just to see like where it was at and it ended at almost 11 p.m. and we left at 9 30 and that's just I think unrealistic <laughs> because most people I would assume travel to get to these events. So unfortunately, <laughs> we didn't stay for the whole graduation. Um, but yeah, I like totally blame the planning for it. Like it should have started in the afternoon if it was gonna go on for that long. But anyhow, my sister's graduated, so <laughs> that's really exciting. And tomorrow we have like, the party at our house and stuff like that so it'll be just easier to talk to each other like we could barely talk because we were all like sit seated in a line and it was just like stressful and everything so we're just gonna have a nice chill celebration tomorrow with everyone Oh my gosh, you guys, I've been running around like crazy. You can see our back seat is full, as is my trunk, because we're going to the recycling center, Goodwill. Yeah, those are the only two spots. I am so hot and sweaty. <laughs> it's way more humid than I thought it would be, and I'm wearing pants, because it was chilly this morning, but I just was like on a mission, like to get rid of all the stuff that's been piling up. So that's what we're doing. We successfully got rid of all the stuff in our car. Now we're at Popeyes. Okay, let's do this. Oh yeah, they do, $25. How may I help you? Hi, can we get the $25 sandwiches and more pack? Um, I did mama spicy. Uh, just the... Mild. Mild? Yes, tender, mama spicy. Mild? What's your large sign order? French fries? Would you like anything else? What did you get? Do everything? Uh, can we get a six piece chocolate beignet? Anything else? That's everything. Uh, pull up. Thank you. Okay, let me see. Well, so notes. what is the. What is Four that? Four sandwiches, uh -huh. tenders, and fries for $25. Oh, you didn't That's ask really for good. The sauce. Well, I'll ask at the window. They usually forget, anyway. Thanks so much. You too. Oh, yeah, there's the black light. So at Taco Bell, there was like a really psycho crazy lady in front of us when me and Rachel went this week. She was literally like what you see online. Like she was belligerently yelling at the workers like for no in reason front in front of us. And then she said, I want to talk to your manager. And then I guess the manager came up and we could hear it because she was yelling and I put down my window. And was she, this when you were ordering? No, this was when we were waiting after we ordered. So she, so was, she was at the window yeah, getting her and stuff. And she was yelling. And we were like, what the heck is going on? So we put down the window and she was like, I want to speak to your manager. And then the manager came up and then she was like, are you the manager? And it must have been like a kid. You uh -huh. know, like how they're yeah. usually teenagers yeah. or young adults. Yeah, they're only getting $10 an hour. Yeah. And then she was like, I want to speak to the general manager. Oh, and then they were like, we're sorry, like, they're not here. <laughs> And um, she was like, well, I have never experienced such bad service than here. And um, Okay, don't yell. <laughs> well, she was well, yelling like, even louder like than what? that. 
she was saying that was there a long line before mm -mm, that there was something? no one in front of her she said that she wanted to have all three people in her car pay separate but she didn't tell them so she paid oh. for all of them and she was like how dare you assume that it's all together and it's like oh. why would you assume it's not i've never heard of people mm -mm. in the car paying separate no and this then was like a mother or a yeah younger... it was like an adult oh. like older than you probably oh. and she seemed older at least she's very mean and as you can tell and then she was the workers were like we're sorry, sorry like yeah. that's just the policy yeah. and she was like you should have a sign about that because that is just ridiculous la da 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 and then Does she, she out of state i don't know she had a faith sign on the back of her car like with a cross <laughs> and then then she said i'm going to like I'm gonna wait here until someone can fix this for me and she put her car in park and we were behind her like uh -huh what on earth yeah. we were like they're gonna call the cops on her uh -huh. and we're witnesses yeah. so um we were like oh my gosh we're never gonna get our food we're never gonna get out of here so she um they like opened the window to be like please like move ahead and like leave <laughs> because there was a line behind us and she was like i can sit here as long as i damn please and then um oh yeah and so then you should have that. i know <laughs> I was like, I was should driving. No, I was driving. Oh. I was in shock. Oh. <laughs> and um, so then um, she finally puts her car out of park and she yells at the window and she's like, I'm gonna call customer service right away and I'm gonna get something out of this store. Like, so she, I don't know, did she do it on purpose to like make a scene and uh -huh. like get free money or Taco uh -huh. Bell gift cards? Like, right. I have no idea. Is that thing gonna fall? No, it's fine. Uh -huh. And then, um, then she honks her horn, like laying it on uh -huh. the horn. Uh -huh. Then we get to move up finally. Yeah. And then the workers were like, we're so sorry about the weight and everything. And I was like, we're sorry for you guys like that was crazy yeah. then we think it's over she we hear the horn still honking yeah. but she's nowhere to be seen in my rear view mirror i see her barreling around the store like she made a full circle around the store honking her horn like a crazy person and she was like hanging out the window like i i don't think she was yelling or anything but she was just like ah! and it was insane it was insane. I've never witnessed something like that. I wonder if somebody was filming it in the back. <laughs> I hope so. All that stuff is ridiculous. I know. Like, it was ridiculous. I've never, ever seen someone what act as crazy. Mom Rachel doing? Mom wasn't there. We had to tell oh, her afterwards. Oh. Rachel was like, because I wanted to close my window because I didn't want to be part of it. Yeah. But she was like, no, leave it open. I want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised. I know. I was just scared. Like, I didn't know was she going to get out of her car. Yeah. And actually, that was a good thing because their inside restaurant is closed. All right. Because she could have went in and, like, yelled at them. And yeah. I don't know what. Yeah. So, she left. But we were like, wow. I can't believe people like that exist. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Mm-hmm. And the, the three, I mean, the other people were in the car? Yeah, there was like, two other passengers. And who knows, they might have been embarrassed. Yeah. I would have been. Yeah. Like Maybe this were, lady does it all the time. They weren't yelling either. Because, mm -mm. oh. okay, say she wanted everyone to pay separately. Just have your friends or family or whoever they are pay you back. Think, it's not yeah. that big of a deal. Yeah. Or it shouldn't be. I mean, to get upset over something like that <laughs> seems know. pretty ridiculous. It was. Yeah, that's why I'm wondering if she was doing it on purpose mm -hmm. or something. I don't know. And then she's going to call, talk about customer service, and yell at them. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. That was my closest Karen experience I've ever had. Wow. Well, <laughs> very bad. Very bad. But if you've seen that video online, like if someone recorded it, let me know because I was there. <laughs> you guys, I've been a machine today. So, you know, I did all that stuff this morning, did all the recycling and the Goodwill donations. Then when I came home, I showered, which I desperately needed. 
and so I feel so much better. Then I repainted my nails, and this is one that I just got in like a set from Sir Colors. So it was um, for Pride Month, and they did two different sets with like mini polishes. So I bought both of them, and the color that I used is oh, they don't have the names on the bottom, but this is from like the lighter color set, and this is like the pink. This one is interesting because it was almost like a jelly polish, which I didn't realize, and it has little hollow flecks in it, and so I just thought that was kind of like a nice, more neutral color. So I repainted my nails, and I filmed a video, which I'm very, very happy about, and I just finished editing a different video, so I would really like to edit also the video that I filmed today, and then... I'll feel like better about just like relaxing but in the meantime while this is like saving it's going to take 22 minutes I am going to finish the episode that I am like halfway through of who killed Sarah you guys have got to watch this show it is insane like this might be one of the most insane shows I've ever watched and it's definitely for mature audiences like I know most of you guys that watch my videos are like 18 or older, but I know some people don't like seeing like sex scenes or like violence or just like crazy shit. So if you don't like that, don't watch this show. There's definitely like bad stuff going on and it is crazy it is absolutely crazy and I love it so I think I'm on the fifth episode and I was watching it at night one night and I was like I have to go to bed like I want to stay up all night and watch but I just can't so um I oh my gosh I'm on the sixth episode of season one so I'm halfway through that so I want to uh finish that and um one of you guys told me season two is even crazier so I am just so excited <laughs> it is like I haven't been so excited about a show in a very very long time and I'm like late to the party because already two seasons have come out of for this show but now I'm going to be like waiting for the next season with everyone else but if you've been looking for kind of a crazy drama type of show check out Who Killed Sarah. I just got this adorable set of bookends that says booked for the weekend from Target. I'll link it down below and so I put all the books that I have to read that I have not read yet in this little section on my like headboard and so then I rearrange these books these are all books that I've read that I want to keep that pile of paperbacks I still have to read the ones on the far left those are like I read them a long time ago but I want to keep them and then on the right side these are also books that I've read and want to keep then I went through all my books and these are the books that I am going to be donating. So I've been donating a lot of books like without showing you guys but these are all books that I do really like and have read but could go to a better home since I don't see myself rereading them. So that is what this pile is. And I did have them all kind of like stacked up here and now that's all cleared off which makes me feel so much better. It has been so many hours since the last time I talked to you. It's almost midnight I think which is pretty late for me because <laughs> I'm not a night owl but we have been cleaning so much today, decluttering, getting ready for Rachel's graduation party tomorrow and I just took my second shower of the day because I was so sweaty and just felt gross and didn't want to get in bed like that so I just did like a body and face shower didn't wash my hair since I washed it this morning and I feel so happy because I did like that book declutter I did some more decluttering in my room but it was just like all this random stuff so that makes me feel good, but now I have to go to Goodwill again. <laughs>
<laughs> so don't know if I'll get there tomorrow, but I have Monday off, which I'm super excited about because tomorrow will be kind of hectic and crazy in a good way, but it'll be nice to have Monday to like feel like we have a day to like rest and do whatever we want. So I am standing over here in the corner of my room because I got two fragrances in the mail today. You know I'm on a perfume kick. So the first one that I got is Mon Guerlain. I found it for an amazing deal on Walmart's website. This is on my like birthday wish list and I was gonna wait for my birthday to get it but we're very close to my birthday anyhow so I thought I would get it while I was on the great deal. Oh my gosh. This is the most beautiful scent. It is like a sweet lavender vanilla. It like oh, just makes me feel so calm and so happy. It is absolutely gorgeous. So I got that in the mail today and then I got this off of Amazon and this is Narcissa Rodriguez for her and this is the Parfum. Oh my god, why do I have such a hard time saying that? Parfum? <laughs> I would say Parfum. I don't know why, but I always have. So this is not the Eau de Toilette. This is the Parfum. So I am in love with this bottle. Like, the Mon Guerlain bottle is also a work of art, but this is just like so unique and so pleasing to me because it's like the lid and the container. I don't know. It's just beautiful. So this I just sprayed and this lid is kind of hard to get off. Oh my god, this is such a me scent. I literally got a little bit on my hand. <sighs> I don't know what the notes are in this, but it's like a zesty patchouli scent and I love patchouli. So this is very much up my alley but different from anything I have which makes me really excited so I absolutely love this bottle I was worried um that I wouldn't like the scent as much as I love the bottle but so far so good it smells amazing this I love so much and I knew I loved Mon Guerlain since I had a sample of it <sighs> literally heaven so I just wanted to show you guys those we're getting set up for the party so I'm setting everything out with labels my mom made so we're just prepping and things are coming together we're on a good time schedule and yeah we'll show you as things come together so I set up the shrine for Rachel's graduation party. Some balloons that are adorable. Literally, how cute is that? I love this one. Too cute. Here's another one. And another one. <laughs> Things are coming together. So we have all like the chips and crackers out here. I just finished plating the cheese and meat and um, grapes for like a charcuterie board type of idea and then I'm going to set out all the veggies that mom and Rachel cut this is for dip olives and pickles oh and we have the little smokies done this is our tried and true favorite so I'm just letting these cool before putting them into a serving dish Aunt Sue sent all these cute decorations. Oh, and we got these flowers that have a random pineapple in them. <laughs> we don't know why. <laughs> I finally finished getting ready. Everyone saw me in my schlumpy clothes, but I decided to wear this gorgeous dress from Target. I wanted to wear this to Rachel's graduation, but it was like really bad weather and really cold. So now, I am getting to where I will definitely look overdressed, but <laughs> whatever. And I really like my makeup, just kind of a standard look for me. And whew, I'm sweating, so if I'm like glowing, it's sweat. <laughs> and I'm just so glad we got everything together. We were like on the ball more than ever before. Like everything was pretty much ready by the time 
people showed up, so that was exciting. So I'm gonna go down and enjoy the party. Gigi and Grampy made the most amazing tray of thummies with raspberry jam, the best, and peanut butter fudge. Oh my gosh, we are spoiled. My mom made this awesome like spritzer drink with the Goya peach nectar and whew, that is so good and then she used the barefoot moscato and ginger ale she used three cans of ginger ale for this and it is delicious so the party just wrapped up i was sweating to death in my dress so i just changed back into my clothes from earlier but we had such an amazing time and so much good food and the cake was amazing we got it from weiss and it's like the whipped satin like satin oh, whip icing. Satin whip icing so it's not super sweet like buttercream it's like whipped cream and oh it's just delicious so uh, it was such a fun party our first party in like 18 months and it was a major success and now I'm going to be doing some planning in my planner this is um, the happy planner that I've been using this year and my aunt Gina found these amazing happy planner sticker books at the Dollar Tree so these were a dollar each and they are just awesome so I've never had the official like happy planner sticker packs because they're pretty expensive for like what they are but she got a kind of like everyday one and then seasonal which I think is so cool so it has like summer stuff spring fall and winter and I just think that is so fun. So I'm gonna use some of these to plan out my next few weeks. So I just finished my planning. So what I did for like, instead of using my washi tape, was I took these like rectangular stickers and I cut them into either thirds or fourths, depending on how I cut them. Um, so I really like this page for this week. And then I used these stickers that I got on Etsy from this um, seller, Franny Lamb stickers. I'll link them down below um, for my like payday and stuff. And then just kind of the same situation. And then, oh, I love this page. So this is for like my birthday week and my birthday is July 4th. So I have happy birthday and watch July 4th fireworks or 4th of July. And then I have this like little section with like birthday stuff. <laughs> and I'm so excited. And then it's just kind of the same stuff every week so i do like work to do list and youtube and then um just fill that out so that's how i do my planning and i tried to do it like monthly so i like did all of july morning you guys it's monday morning and i have today off me and my mom took off today to just have like a relaxing day since this whole weekend has been kind of crazy and I'm so glad we did that because we not really slept in but like we were able to just like take our time this morning and everything so that has been really great and oh my tissues are like on the front I love this little thing by the way this is um something I bought like last year or two years ago from Target and it's just like a little um ribbon that has tissues in it so it's like really convenient but anyway um so i am going to pick up our lunch we're gonna get the Kome bento boxes again like we did last monday and wow they are just absolutely delicious so if you live in the lehigh valley check out Kome's bento boxes they're I think a really good price for how much you get and I was jealous of my mom and parents or my sister and parents oh my god I'm like still half asleep um that they got the bento boxes and I just got like sushi rolls so I got the bento box um this time so I didn't miss out but anyway I'm gonna head over there and then we're gonna have a delicious lunch so we got the bento boxes home safe and sound I got the steak um it comes with the California rolls lots of good tempura the do you think it's gyoza mm-hmm 
gyoza dumplings. And then this salad, um, the dressing is specifically very highly recommended to me and the miso soup, except I don't really probably eat that. But anyhow, oh, and Rachel tried the shrimp, which looked delicious. Mm -hmm. Should I get this, you guys? <laughs> it's a dog bandana. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, we've had such a fun day shopping and now we're having a little snack and we got the BTS meal at McDonald's for our snack and I can't believe they actually gave us the packaging that's like with the BTS logo and Rachel told us on the side here in Korean it actually says I purple you which is like a thing that the R the BTS and the army say to each other mm -hmm. it's like a little inside joke <laughs> And I got my vanilla sweet cream cold brew and I asked for some ice water, which made me feel so guilty because I just feel bad. I don't know. <laughs> but then I tipped it. them, so then it balanced out. But they have a delicious ice water. <laughs> what else do we have to tell them? You got some good oh, yeah. dresses. Oh yeah, we went to JC Penney's because mom had a return and then we spent like a million money. dollars <laughs> but we got really great deals including a really pretty dress that I can wear to like weddings and things like that and it's just like so cute I'll try it on for you guys and show you later mm -hmm. and a cute Adidas shirt mm -hmm. that I just want to wear right now but I'm going to be <laughs> modest and not change in the car in broad daylight <laughs> Anyway, oh, the baby's on. Gotta go. <laughs> the baby. At our church festival, I didn't find any good books, but I found three gorgeous pieces of like glasswork. And oh my gosh, this is my favorite. It's this beautiful serving bowl with what my mom said was cranberry glass. And it's just so, so pretty. I just love this. And then I thought this one was really cool with different like effects. Like there's different notches and just like different styles of the glasswork. Oh my gosh, love it. And then this one is incredible as well. It's this super heavy, like it was a candle holder, I guess, but I want to burn down this candle and then like, um, wipe it out and use it as a vase and I just thought it was so like art deco and just beautiful and all of these pieces were like ten dollars or less each like I think this was six this was ten and this was three so <laughs> really amazing deals and they're just so beautiful so for my mall haul I did a little bit of damage at Sephora I finally got my hands on the new Sol de Janeiro dry shampoo once I got out of the store, I sprayed it in my hair and it smells amazing as expected, just like their bum bum cream. So I'm super happy to have this. And then they had all of what was left of their Marc Jacobs um, inventory half off. So I've wanted to try their Sugar Sugar lip gloss for like a billion years and I just never did. So I got it for half off today, which made me very happy. And then I've been wanting to try the Lush Rose Jam perfume but my store has only had like the giant a hundred dollar bottle but today they had the 30 mil which is 42 i think and this scent is just so beautiful if you like jammy rose fragrances as the name would suggest so it's like a sweet powdery rose so at jc penny's is where we got like all of our clothes which i haven't bought a lot of new clothes in a while um, but they had some really cute pieces so I've been wanting to find like summer weight dresses that aren't super short and so this one is so pretty it's like a sweetheart top with just spaghetti straps and this little bow and it's like hits right below the bust and then flows out and it's kind of like multi layers and it is lined but definitely I would wear like those little spank shorts under it so nothing would show and it's like a high low and this dress just makes me think of like 
a nice vacation or just like a summer brunch or something like that. So I really loved this piece. This dress is just so soft and comfortable. And this one my mom loved. Like I was kind of on the fence because I'll have to wear a cami with it because it's a little bit deep cut and I can't, it's a faux wrap so I can't wrap it like anymore but my mom loved it and it's like another high low, very, very comfortable and figure flattering for me and it would work for like my office job, dinner with the grandparents, like hanging out with my friends, like it just is a really versatile dress. So I thought that was worth it in the end since we had a really great discount. And then this I love and I want to wear this ASAP. And this is just a big oversized Adidas shirt. And I was impressed with the price. It was $28 and I feel like a lot of like athletic brand logo t-shirts are like 30 to 40 dollars so i know 28 isn't that much less but we had a coupon that we could stack with it so it did save quite a bit and then this is all bunched up but this is my favorite piece and i'm gonna try this on for you guys all right, so the piece de resistance of this dress haul is this little baby. Here, maybe you can appreciate it. So it's like this flowy, incredible dress. It does layer of tulle, which is just incredible. And it's like this blushy pink satin material on the top. And then, like you saw, it's like the higher neckline, which I love. And the back is actually like open. So I absolutely love this dress and it's just like all of my twirly dress dreams come true, except no pockets. <gasps> it has pockets. I didn't even notice that. That makes it 50 times better. I can't wait to tell Rachel. Um, oh my god. Literally incredible. And it has like boning right here. So it really like keeps it shaped nicely. And I'm just wearing my like normal strapless bra that I wear with like whatever. Um, and it works for sure. Like it's not um, showing in the back. But I would probably just get, I don't know, I probably would wear this or like a sticky bra or something like that um but i just absolutely absolutely love it and it was like 70 percent off so wow the pockets just make it all the better so i am really excited to wear this next year probably next year um well i might wear it this year but next year i have some weddings that i'm really looking forward to and i'm thinking one in particular i'll wear this oh i could even add like a belt like a bedazzled belt or something like that that would be very very pretty um and just like dangly earrings or something no necklace um yeah so <laughs> this is the like most amazing thing that i got and i am so hot it was so humid and we were trying on a lot of clothes which i haven't done in a long time um but i found some great pieces that i love so it was so worth it and i just had a really great day with my mom and sister out and about doing what we love to do oh no I just found the tag. This thingy. Great! Now we'll have to go back. The thing kept beeping as we went out, but they couldn't find it. It's like buried in there in the tool. Oh my god. So I'm gonna have to find a day to go back. So that's annoying. But anyhow, I am just glad that we had this extra day to relax. And yeah, so I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.